Hello everybody, my name is Nightmare, and today we are going to be continuing with Sen's Fortress. I still don't have enough to level up, and I have no more humanity, so I can't kindle this bonfire. It's gonna go green. What, what are you talking about? Why wouldn't it go green, you know? It's, so much is going for me right now. But let's go. We're going to go fight the boss today. That is going to be the uh, big thing in this episode. The thing. But, um, yeah, there's a few examples of a fire bomb. But depending on how much, like, how far I get. Hold on. Did it. All right, I failed twice last time. I did it today, though. You see that thing curve? So let's go talk to this guy. Ah, what? What? Who, who are you? Ah, another undead, eh? I took on Sam's fortress alone, but I'm no different from those vile creatures. I was driven by conceit. Ah, you think you're different? That you can handle it? Yes, I, I remember that feeling. For I was the same. So, let me help you out with your soul searching. Okay, let's see what he has to sell. He has fire bombs, tadenite shards. So he does sell large tadenite shards. Okay, I think the giant blacksmith in, in Orlando does the same. My computer screen's like glitching out at me. And at least my lights stop yelling at me. So he's, yeah, he sells arrows, blah, 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 blah. He sells the Katarina set. So if you ever want to be an onion bro, or onion sister, come to this guy. He also sells the uh, steel armor set, as well as a complete balder set. If you didn't already get it from grinding. Nothing at all. But well, for I'm now. Rush in like a naked babe and be skinned alive. Yeah, well, whatever. I'll do better than you, because you're just standing in a room pouting. We're gonna go down to the bottom of these stairs. Because I always forget what's down there. I think there's a mimic down there. Not sure. There might also be rats. No, no, no. This, that's a different area. So, there's a snake man. Was a snake man. My mistake. Uh, Okay, pillar's corpse. Cage key, that is what was down here. Okay, cage key is very important. It will allow me to do uh, things much quicker without I'll be able to avoid 90% of the pendulums. And that is amazing. I'll also be able to free Logan. However, my character's not smart enough to talk to Logan, of course. The great and powerful wizard that he is. Ergo, he won't talk to me because he thinks I'm stupid. Just because I like to put things in brute force rather than logic. Sweet. Some days you get those rolls all the time, and other days it's just And another Balder Knight. Hello, friend. Balder leggings. I think I already have those, but I don't remember. And there's nothing over here, that's right. Can I see? Yeah. Over there, that building there is the where we rang the first bell of awakening. So many parts ago. I'll probably do a close-up of it. Because I'm awesome like that. We'll be even blurrier up close. In personal. Okay, let's continue. Here it is, the shortcut. Used cage key. Shortcut, here we go. My friend keeps appearing on and offline, apparently. Ha <laughs> that guy just fell. What a noob. All right. So go, and then back up. Because we don't want to stay down there. We already got all the way through down there. But now, as the second one goes down, if I wanted to go back to Firelink or any of the other places, it would be much easier for me. 
Okay. So. I hear terrible things all around me. All right. That scorch mark is a reminder that even though you are here, fire bombs can still hit you. hear my friend up there stomping around. Alright, let's go get Iron Tartus, because I'm not facing the boss alone. I'm not crazy. So here he is. Iron Tarkus. My man. Ugh. Iron Tarkus is like my best friend in this, besides Solaire. He single-handedly takes on everybody with gusto. Let's go, Tarkus. Let's go kick some butt. I gotta keep my channel nice and clean. Nah, no, I don't care. Alright, here he is. Tarkus! Oh god. Look at that. Tarkus like single-handedly like took him down with one swing. Hey, excuse me. Give me that. Thank you. Alright, Tarkus, let's go fight the boss. Ugh. You ready, Tarkus? Let's go. And as Plague of Grapes has proven, Tarkus can, without a doubt, kill this boss by himself. Alright, Tarkus, let's go. Oh, not the grab he's head. Ah, oh, he's got me. Okay. Hey, Tarkus, day day now. Let's heal up. Holy crap. Look how much his health is just getting like ripped apart by Tarkus in my little puny like. Look at that! Oh, he smashed me. Ow. Oh, he's all wobbly. Kick his ass. Yeah, I can see that. I think I did the final blow, but I couldn't have done it without your help, Carlos. Thank you, friend. Have a good day. We're gonna heal up. And now, we head off to Anor Londo. And it's only been like eight minutes. The episode's going good so far. I examined that ring of light so good. is not ready. No. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, oh, there it is. I like how there's trees over there. See, I can point at the screen now and my arm's not drifting in and out of the frame. Ruining these magical shots. And it's going to just drop me from the sky. That's why I scream in pain. It's like, ow! Look at that majestic city. Mmm, majestic. So, yes. Welcome to Anna Londo. And at the bottom of the stairs, there's your tour guide. Look at him down there. It's all big and scary. We don't want to fight him just yet. 
don't want to just sneak by him and his friends. And we want to go to the bonfire. But we're going to go fight them anyway. After we set up the bonfire and get our 10 Estes flasks and... Yeah. Why? Because he just looks like he needs to be taught, taught a lesson. I don't know. He looks like a rowdy boy. Hey, look! I can actually level up a couple of times. Well, you are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anor Londo, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Yeah, I have no firekeeper souls. Can't reinforce my Estus flask. Talk. Mm. What is it? What am I? Well, I am the keeper of the bonfire. If not for me, what beacon would there be in this lost city? A gatekeeper and a guide. That is my calling. Now, I don't mean to be cynical, but she actually lied to you. She's actually a member of the Dark Moon Covenant, and she reveals this to you after you join it yourself, if you do decide to do so. But, I don't know. Maybe she just felt like lying. Keeping it uh, mostly a secret. Let's fight this guy. Look at that powerful man attack. Right at the cross. Yeah, it's so warm down here. 1500 souls apiece. No, I want to... No, not him. Him! The other guy. There you go. Lure him out one at a time. Look at that. My plus three Black Knight sword. Beautiful. Hey, friend. Is this one the Mimic? No, the Mimic's on the other side. Demon Tatonite. That's going to be coming in handy eventually. Oh, that guy. We'll be seeing a lot of him. A lot of him. Him and his friend, actually. They're going to just be all over us. Won't be able to keep their uh, sticky paws off of us. That's where we will be heading eventually, but right now, we have more big guys to kill. Why? Because they guard things, and they look nice. Blow them out one at a time. Blow them out one at a time. There we go. Up oh, there's the other big guy. That excuse me. Where do you think you're going? Oh yeah, there he is. Look at the size of the hammer. That actually looks like it's a real weapon in comparison to his body. Anyway, so this is a real chest. Twinkling Tatonite. I mean, I need that. And this is a mimic. I, for 
forget what he drops. Crystal Halberd. Because we're near Seath's embassy thing. Yeah, because if you go up these stairs over here, it will bring you to Seath. Oh, man, my B button does not want to roll here. Back, so sweaty. All right. Look at all those souls we have just by killing six enemies. And a mimic. Oh, I guess he's an enemy. A an, an, an enemy. An enemy. Anyway. Yeah, look at the size of comparison of these doorways compared to me. It's like I'm a little baby human. Don't mind me. I like the whip. I'm Indiana Jones! Whee! Anyway. That whip's not gonna do anything against any of these enemies and my foot's getting tangled in cords. Well, let's go fight our old friend. The bell bar- the bell gargoyles, not barboils. What's a barboil, you might ask? I knew I'd tell you. And these guys that we're going to be fighting, as you can see him, he's waiting, he's patient. These guys have the added benefit of uh, being lightning gargoyles instead of the fire gargoyles we fought earlier. no boss music or anything and it's all because it's like you have become so badass in your own right that these bosses are just regular enemies now all right let's continue Doo -doo 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 -doo. so we killed the lightning gargoyle just now I didn't stop to switch over my camera because it only records for 20 minutes at a time oh no I fell what do I have to lie to Oh, I know exactly what that sound is. Never mind. I was just about to ask, what the heck is that sound? All right, open this chest. Two demon. No, only one demon tonight. Sad face. I thought I was getting two. Oh no, I'm stuck on a wall. So we're going into the church. I don't usually say that. But you do gotta be careful on your way up. Cause you can slip and fall. Like I almost just did. Whew. Made it. You wanna go through the broken window. Cause this game thinks it's a platformer. And that guy. He thought he could sneak attack you, but he's not sneaky enough. That guy almost did, though, because I almost forgot about him. They do that occasionally. They just, like, can take two body or two hits with my sword randomly. And now we go up into the raptors. And it's always good to just take your time with these areas. Because one small slip and you'll go splat on the floor and have to start all over again. And the second time around might not be as easy. Life lessons with that. So watch that guy. He's throwing things at me. Like a child. And he just goes whee, and falls all the way to the floor. 
Going down, down, down. I want to walk over here and go. Wow! I'm surprised that doesn't like kill anyone. It's a very dangerous thing to just drop on people. Focusing super hard right now. Yeah, they usually throw two knives and then kill themselves. They're just so upset they couldn't get you. They just have to throw themselves off the edge. And I was like, oh no, don't do it. And I did it anyway. There was nothing I could do. Same thing with that guy. It's like, you know, I'm trying to help him. He just goes and falls off the edge. We're just going to take a moment here. Pull out my binoculars. Well, no, we're going to go on to a uh, solid ground for a second here. Now then, as I was saying, we're going to uh, pull out binoculars for a moment. No, no, no particular reason. No, I'm just kidding. We'll get to see the real thing soon enough. We're going to roll onto this platform here. And then from there, we're going to roll into the ear. Then we're gonna go fight this guy with a whip. I don't know, I needed an excuse to use the whip, I guess. Holy crap, that does like no damage at all. It's almost hilarious, well it was hilarious how little damage that whip actually was doing. Is this a mimic? No, this is an actual chest, okay. And this is more Divine Blessings, or Blessing. Oh. Burp. And then, whee! Almost fell. That would have been bad. That's still, like, super hot in my basement here. It's so, so humid outside. I'm glad my sword didn't get stuck in the wall. That would have been embarrassing. And now we're back here. We got the Divine Blessing and the chest, so let's go. That was the good for the chest. Anyway. And we're at the giant Crankamadoo. Nothing like a giant Crankamadoo. Push lever. This will get it to where we want it to be. Or do we? Yeah, it's kind of a good place to have it. There will be a uh, friend of ours coming in to say hi. Gargoyle shield. But we're not ready yet, because there's another bonfire we're gonna go sit at. That way, if we die, which we usually do. Well, I hear my brother home. So, I'm gonna have to go say hi to him once I sit at this bonfire and get that drop. I'm almost out of time anyway, so no harm done. Alright. Light bonfire. Rest at bonfire. 
not enough to level up. So, all right. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like to let me know. Uh, you know the rest of the deal. Share this with your friends. Try and do whatever you can. But thank you, and uh, I will see you guys in the next part. Bye!